Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply two decimals that are less than one whole. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have seven tenths times three hundredths. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to take the decimals out and rewrite this problem vertically, so up and down, using whole numbers. So we're going to rewrite this as seven times three. Again, we're taking the decimals out. We will worry about placing the decimal later in our answer. Now we can multiply. Seven times three is 21. Now the answer to seven tenths times three hundredths isn't 21. We need to still place our decimal in that answer. So we need to think how many digits are to the right of a decimal in the original problem? Well, one, two, three. Three digits to the right of a decimal. So our answer needs three digits to the right of the decimal. So one, two, three. We can put a zero in the tenths place. And then we have our decimal, and I'll put a zero in the ones place to show that we do not have any whole numbers here. So our final answer is 21 thousandths. Again, three digits behind a decimal in the original problem, and three digits behind the decimal in our final answer. Let's move on to number two, where we have 92 hundredths times 54 hundredths. So let's take the decimals out and rewrite this vertically. 92 times 54. Let's multiply, starting with 4 times 2, which is 8, and then 4 times 9, which is 36. We're done with this 4. Now we need a 0 here because we are moving one place to the left. 5 times 2 is 10. So we have another zero, carry the one, and now we have five times nine, which is 45, plus that one is 46. Once we get to this point, we can add. So eight plus zero is eight, six plus zero is six, three plus six is nine, and then we have a four. Now we're ready to place the decimal in our answer. So we need to take a look at the original problem and see how many digits are to the right of a decimal. So one, two, three, four. So our answer needs four digits to the right of the decimal. One, two, three, four. So we can place our decimal right here. I'll put a zero in the ones place to show that we do not have any whole numbers. Our final answer, 4,000. 968 ten thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you multiply two decimals that are less than one whole. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.